I'm with head coach Andy Schaefer of the Columbus Grove Bulldogs. Coach, how does your team look early on? Oh, looking pretty good. You know, we got a lot of experience back, um, uh, especially on offense, and uh, the guys are really, really doing well. And you're an offensive-minded guy. How has your offensive system kind of worked over your tenure with the team? Yeah, we have a uh, third-year uh, starting quarterback. He's only a junior, Blake Reynolds. And, um, you know, having a guy back for three years obviously, um, I guess, progresses things along. So I, I would say at this point our offense has probably got more stuff in than, than what we've had the last couple of years. So, you know, that's certainly a good thing. And um, um, I think it's uh, – uh, he's he's able to bring other guys along with them, and it's it's been nice to see. We also have a pretty veteran offensive line, and it's been good to see those guys kind of mix and gel together and, and uh, develop our run game. You scrimmage uh, Liberty Benton. Uh, is that tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We uh, well, it's Thursday. Uh, we we scrimmage uh, Liberty Benton, and um, you know that's that's always been a really good hard hitting scrimmage, and and uh, you know I've got some ties there. I used to coach there, so it's 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 usually a pretty good scrimmage, and, and kind of shows us where we're at. So we like that one. It's a good test, and we're excited for it. And then game one versus Pandora Gilboa. Uh, what are your thoughts on that matchup? Yeah, so that's our huge rivalry game. I mean, it's it's something that we've we've talked about for years here at Grove, and uh, you know, unfortunately, the last couple of years has not gone the direction that we need it to go. So we put a little bit more emphasis on it this year in the off season, and, and really um, um, set ourselves up to. to see how much of a focus we need that for for the start of the season so our guys are ready um, they're excited and uh, certainly ready to go get pandora how does your senior class look this off season oh yeah so we have um, uh, 11 seniors this year and um, those guys have done a good job you know replacing a really what probably one of my better senior classes that i've had here you know we lost nine seniors last year and, and four of them are playing college football so um, you know, they, they had big shoes to fill, so to speak, and uh, these guys have done a good job of learning how to be vocal leaders, and um, I'm excited to see what they do this year. A huge part of preseason and the offseason is bringing up those freshmen who were playing middle school ball, now they're in the big leagues and high school. What has that been like? Yeah, it, it's neat. It's it's, honest, it's it's a little different because my son's one of those freshmen, but uh, uh, so that's kind of a unique experience. But it, it's a really good class. I, I would say that these kids have really hit the weight room probably harder than most of my freshman classes. Um, and those guys really like the game of football. So, um, you know, I don't know how many of them are really going to contribute too much varsity this year, but I'm expecting some enormous things out of this freshman class, uh, probably starting next year. So excited to see those guys grow and, and see what they can do. How does all of that offseason work, the weight room, uh, taking a look at the X's and O's, how does that affect those freshmen into their first year? Oh, we try to do, um, you know, I, I wouldn't say that we do the exact same system in the junior high, but we use the same verbiage and language and that kind of stuff. Um, so when they get into our system, they really kind of know what they're doing. So, um, you know, you know we, we truly try to work with those guys. We changed our two-a-days this year to, to actually have like a separate practice for our younger guys. And, and so all of our coaches were coaching them for two and a half hours. And, and, and I think every day um, that got them better. So I'm excited to see what they do, especially at our younger levels. Lastly, you spoke of the rivalry game with Pandora Gilboa. Are there any other matchups on your schedule you've circled? <laughs> I, honestly, if you look at our schedule, it's it's tough. Uh, our three non-conference games, you know, I'd put them up against anybody in the state of Ohio. Um, Pandora, Lipsick, Patrick Henry. Those are those are three big ones, and and that gets us ready for a really good Northwest Conference. So you know, I, I don't think we're going to really circle anybody past the first game, and take one game at a time and see where we're at. Coach, thank you so much. That's Andy Schaefer of the Columbus Grove Bulldogs. Stay tuned for more team previews on WOSN.